laid it all down on the line. Sitting here with, uh, well, I'm actually standing here out front of Stand Up New York with comedian Al Ducharme, who moved to L.A., and now he's back. I know, I'm back only for a few days, and then I head back to fake land. <laughs> fake land. It's so real here in New York. You know exactly what you're stepping in. <laughs> so I, I gave Al, Al the uh, the problem here. We're going to hear what his advice is. And I want honest answers from Al. He doesn't have to joke try. it up. Do you agree with, uh, with a comedian taking an antidepressant? Uh, again, it, it depends on how much you take. I would start off with a minimum uh, amount, like 25 milligrams, then move up to 50, and then 100. But you don't want to really go past uh, 150, 200 milligrams. But I really don't know anything about it. <laughs> <laughs> have you taken them? No, actually, I have not. But a lot of friends of mine have, and they always they always have a conversation. Two people find out that they've, uh, they're they taking Zoloft, and they discuss how many milligrams. So I've, I've been eavesdropping, and that's the only reason I came up with that. But... I say do anything that uh, is going to help you, you know, get out of your head. But we, we're all like that. As comedians, we're kind of in our heads anyways, right? We're always, like, uh, comparing ourselves to what, what the other person is uh, up to and what they're saying. And are you, uh, are you doing equally uh, as well or better or worse? Is that right. what you mean? Inside well, no, head? no. I mean, like, you know, when, uh, I'm a dad now, and a lot of the reasons I do fixing Joe is that I, you know, people think I'm this narcissistic freak, but then I have to explain at the end of every episode. The main reason I'm trying to fix me is because I'm, I'm a dad now, and I don't want my kid to be as screwed up as me. I don't even, I don't want him to be a comedian. And if he says he wants to do comedy, that pretty much means that I'm failing at it. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't want him to go down the same road as me. So I, I want to not be anxious. I want to be present with my son. Sometimes I'm not. Even there when I'm with my mean, own kid. What do you mean? Like when you're cooking and then you walk away from the stove while your son is sleeping? and Yeah, I tend to have these thoughts go through my head. I start tweeting. I start posting on Facebook, which is big for our careers, so you, while I'm with my son. And I, I'm missing valuable moments with him. Are you, you're not afraid of neglecting him. You're just, you're just afraid of connecting with him? Or I, I, I'm trying to get this, you know, get it right here. <laughs> Because I want to fix Joe too. I want, or I want to be a part of the project to fix Joe. Well, you know, I, you know me. I mean, do you, would you say, oh, that guy should probably take some uh, some medication? Is that ever? I always thought you did. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> no, I never got that from you. I I, I think that you were fo- definitely focused on your your work. You know, I don't know if that's self absorbed, but definitely. hey, 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 he's taking off. That was Nick Griffin who just walked by. He, he was he's, destroyed. He, he was on my podcast. Uh, um, he takes a lot of medications, by the way, and uh, he, he seems to... So he can, uh, we'll we'll talk right. about that in a second, but okay. he, a lot of it is that it sometimes it can get rid of your anxiety, it can get rid of your depression, but then they have this term called blunting, where you don't feel, you don't right. have you, emotions. That's what I'm saying, you want, you want to start off with a very low dose, so uh, find out what the lowest dose is and, and try it, and see, monitor yourself and, and check in with yourself. I don't know how long you try it. Do you try it for six weeks, a month? It takes about four to six weeks to get in your system. But the hard part about wanting to try to start is once you get six weeks in, you can't just stop because you'll start freaking out. You literally have to slowly wean wean yourself off. And there's a lot of side effects that can happen, and some of them scare me that I've heard about. Okay, well, that's why, again, I think it's the amount you take. And do you really think that you need to try to do something or uh, i don't know um, a lot of my wife's friends think i should and then i hear it you know from uh i think at times i think oh my god i i get these bad mood feelings for like you know sometimes a full month i just feel like like i'm in quicksand like i'm in kind of a bad mood and and then all of a sudden i come out of it and i'm like the greatest husband i'm the, I'm, 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 I'm great socially with with my peers and comedians i'm great with my kid and then i go i got it and then it fades away and it's gone and it takes like another month for it to come back again so i kind of so come in and out of it maybe this will they'll bridge the time in between instead yeah. of now, checking you, out for a month do you, you ever feel you struggle socially um sometimes i do some but it's in my own head and i kind of uh, go off on my own and and beat myself up emotionally i really don't but I, i'm also a social butterfly as well i love to to hang out and i'm a foodie and i like tossing ideas around and working on projects I find when I'm busy, everything's fine. But when I when I get stagnant, that's when I have those issues. But right. I, yeah. That's I think that is the comedian. You just defined me and and comedians. We're like, oh, if I can just constantly work on me and in my projects, then I'm fine. But I mean, to be in a good marriage, you you, you can't really. 
But your wife, who's a professional, and her friends, her colleagues, or her friends? They're just her friends. Well, they're not, they're not professional. Your wife is, though, right? So. Yeah, I think my wife feels that I should try it. She's well, like, then, try it. Well, then you got to be able to trust that. Yeah. You know. Does anyone in your family suffer from anxiety or depression? They're all dead. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to say names. But anyone in your family? I'm curious. Um, uh, my father did in his uh, latter years. He, he's, he's moved on to a different world, but uh, he had some issues towards the end there. So... Uh, oh, okay. I don't know if it's hereditary or not, but uh, oh, it definitely is. His start, his started, family. you know, he was in his seventies. His started when he, um, his best, well, his uh, my stepmother passed away, and then his best friend, who he went fishing with sixty hours a week, passed away, and that's when my dad became depressed because he wasn't uh, active and he would uh, he became somewhat of a uh, a recluse. No. Yes. That's right. what. It, yeah. And so, did the, the medication make him come back to his normal self? He, it was prescribed to him, but I think that he was just. Then he started to become ill. His health failed, and right. and then it became other issues. But um, uh, yeah, I mean, they told him to try it, but um, he didn't. Oh, he did. He pulled a me. He just said no. Yeah. Yeah. He he pulled a you. He pulled a Joe and said <laughs> no. But then he became ill, so it didn't matter. Right. So. Um, I don't know what would have happened if he tried it. Maybe it would have pulled him out of it or, or not. You know? Do you think he should have, when you heard that he needed them, did you think, oh, wow, I wish he would have John, tried these when, when we were younger, when he was raising us? Oh, no, 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 no not at he all. He was fine. Uh, yes. He was, he, was, he was a pretty good dad. He was very busy. I say okay. pretty good because he was always busy, but when he was home, he was a great, da- he was great dad. Yeah. Oh, sure. I'll, I'm the doorman tonight. <laughs> oh, I just got two big drops on the recorder. So no, the short answer. Are you editing this? Yes, I'm definitely okay. editing it. Can you hold that for me one second? Okay. Yeah, he um, once the fishing, the, once the wife went, and then the fishing went, he uh, became a little um, depressed. Yes. Right. But I, that that also preoccupied him. You overall trust psychiatrists? Um, I don't know enough about them. <laughs> You've never seen one. I have seen one. Aren't they all in, weird? in the nude? But I was sleeping with her. <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, I, I find that they're all weird. I've yet to meet a psychiatrist where I'm like, totally like this guy. I'm going to listen to everything he says. He's- I actually, yeah, I, I spoke to someone for a few weeks, and and I actually had asked him. He seemed pretty cool. And I said, um, do you think that I need to come here? And he said, that's up to you. And I said, okay, adios. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheaper. <laughs> At 125 bucks an hour. Do you have any suggestions other than medications for me if I tend to go into my head a lot what I could do to be more present? You're an actor, right? You have to be present to be like an actor, right? You can't be like thinking of your lines while they're talking. Right. Why do you feel as though you think about your lines while you're, when you're on stage? Um, my... Outside of timing? Uh, I'm interviewing you. Yeah, I'm interviewing you. Sometimes, interviewing you. <laughs> sometimes on stage I do like that's when I know I might not get a laugh at the end of the joke if I'm literally hitting the punchline and going, what's next? If I'm thinking that while I'm delivering a joke, I know I'm not in it. And it, sometimes the joke that will always work doesn't work that time because I started thinking of the next Right, one. right. So then you start second-guessing yourself, thinking, oh, the t- I threw the timing off because I was overthinking. You know what, Joe, I'm you supposed to go, go on stage. Do you, want, do you want to continue we're this? We're pretty good. We're pretty good. You all right? Yeah, I'm good with all that. All right. So I I'm said, going to I cut said, them all I said, together. Try it and see what happens. Al Ducharme just said, <laughs> "Try it. We'll see what happens." All right. Okay, we're sitting here with 